In this video, we're gonna talk about stress and it's something that we all experience. And what Jess is gonna be helping us to look at is stress busting anchors. And anchors actually keep us attached, keep us tethered to something and keep us from being blown about in storms. And so that's gonna be like the metaphor. And for all of us, I think, watching this video, we experience stress at different levels and in different ways. And yeah, this information is super helpful for us to all continue to process, get healthier and um, deal with stress better. So enjoy. So yes, Ben, we're gonna do a whole brand new series on stress. Okay. So um, I think something that obviously we all experience. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Yeah, <laughs> I don't yeah. think there's anyone that's stress free and if you are, you're in denial. Um, <laughs> well, we can touch on that. Um, but what, I really wanted to go through, I guess, is looking at really proactive ways of managing stress. And okay. so I thought a, a nice little um, bit of a analogy to this was, you know, an anchor. So we all know with anchors okay. and ships and boats, they can help um, stabilize the boat in storms and, yeah. and keep it still. Um, and so similar to that, you know, we are going to face stressful situations. Yeah. That's inevitable. We cannot get rid of those. The storms of life will come. The storms of life will come. So how are we going to keep our boat anchored? Nice. <laughs> Basically. Okay. So, and that's um, going to be the, like a metaphor like yeah, a, used yeah. throughout it? Yeah. So we'll, we're going to, I'm going to call them stress busting anchors. Wow. Okay. Um, which we'll get to over the next few videos. Right. Um, but today's is just having a look at stress in general and what that involves and how we experience it and what it can do to us when it becomes too much and, and it's going on for too long. So just to touch on stress a little bit, there's yeah. actually um, a few different types of stress and it's not okay. all bad for us. So we have positive stress, yeah. um, you know, stress that alerts us to something being wrong or that we need that extra boost of energy and alertness in that moment. Um, whether it be that we're in danger or we need to, you know, run away. So it's not positive in that it um, feels good, but it's mm. positive in the outcome that comes from that stress. Is yeah, that what and it can actually energise and motivate us sometimes. So yeah. a little bit of stress yeah. is not so bad. It's okay. And okay. generally that stress is um, mild or it's it's short-lived. Yeah. Um, so that's okay. That sort of stress. I know my wife's going to have I need to clean up quickly. <laughs> I've got that exam, so it motivates me to study because yeah. I'm stressed about it. So, okay. um, so that kind of stress, you know, we all experience and it usually goes away and it's fine. Yeah. We come back to a normal state. Um, then there's sort of that toler tolerable stress. Um, and so this can be a little bit more serious, um, but it's still temporary and it's often made more manageable because we've got positive things around us or good relationships or ways of managing that stress. Um, so it might be a season of stress that we're going through, but okay. it's manageable because of the things we have in place and we have some positive things around us to manage that stress. So that might be like an ongoing challenge at work or an ongoing challenge yeah. in your personal life. Or... Yeah, and it, it could even be that, look, we have to work harder for this season because we know the outcome is going to be good. So we okay. sort of handle that stress because we know the end goal, the end result. So mm. um, that stress again will be resolved at some point. Right. Um, so there's it's, an ending It's a bit more serious, it. but it's manageable. Okay. Um, but then the third um, sort of, I guess, level of stress is that more ongoing toxic stress. Um, so it gets toxic when it gets really intense and it's prolonged and we don't actually have good ways of managing it or mm -hmm. relief from it. Um, okay. So we might not have the support around us or we might have mm -hmm. unhealthy ways of coping or that stress continues because we're not sort of resolving that stressful um, situation. So that's when it becomes a bit toxic. Okay. So not all stress is bad, but we want to avoid it going beyond what it needs to. Yeah. Um, as we said before, like most of us experience, well, all of us experience stress. Yeah. It's yeah. part of modern life, really. <laughs> so a yeah. couple of little stats for you. Um, so you see up on the screen, 72% of Australians admit that stress actually affects their physical health and 64% say that it affects their mental health but then as you see in this next stat over half of them don't seek help for their stress okay so nothing at first when everybody else is just lying <laughs> of course it affects us <laughs> well they're buddhist monks or something <laughs> they know there were so many monks in australia <laughs> or they no. might not realize or they yeah, might be yeah. there's something different or it might be low level. Um, yeah yeah so it does I'm affect us <laughs> 
no, I want to be in that little percentage yeah, that totally. doesn't affect me at all. Okay. Um, of course it affects us. Um, but yeah, most people are not getting help for their stress, even though mm -hmm. they know it affects them so much. Um, yeah, they're right. not seeking help. Um, and you know, in Australia, I think finances are, are one of the top stresses. Mm -hmm. Family issues, health and work issues tend to be the top stresses yeah, right. that we have um, here in Australia. So they're not the only ones, but mm -hmm. they're up there. So stress, it affects us all. What does it do to us? Do you know, so when you get stressed, yeah. like you feel it in your body, right? Yeah, 100%. Yeah. So quick little science lesson. Um, so you'll see on the screen, we've got a system in our brain that goes alarm, um, and that's that initial stress response. It releases stress hormones into our body and then body changes start to take effect. Um, and in this next image, um, there's actually a bit of a theory that there's three stages of stress. So stage one is alarm, every, your body reacts. Stage two, um, you start to adapt to the stress. There's still some release of stress hormones so you can manage things. And then the third stage, this is when it's unresolved stress is exhaustion. So I'm going to have a chat about those. Okay. Um, so those are the three. Like, have you heard much about those three um, stages? In no, that way? I, hadn't, I hadn't heard it put in that way. Yeah. No. Um, so, like, we probably have all experienced it without realizing it. So that mm. what we were talking a bit before that fight or flight sort of alert mode, that alarm, that initial stress response, and we really do feel that it might be the heart racing or um, you know just feeling a bit sort of like we can't cope or it energizes us to do something. So it's an alarm bell reaction sort of stress. Yep. Then our body starts to adapt. It's like, okay, I've got to stay on alert for a little bit um, until the threat has passed or until it's been managed. Um, and in that stage, what can happen is that we think we're no longer stressed, but underneath the surface, we're doing this <laughs> and bodily changes are still actually happening. Okay. Um, and if that continues and the stress isn't resolved over time, we enter into the third stage of exhaustion. So all yeah, right. this time we've been sitting in alert mode, yeah. like this underneath, and it's affecting our physical health. And then boom, we get burnout, we get illness, we get heart problems, we all of mm -hmm. that sort of stuff starts to come in at that third stage. Okay. Not the fun stage. No. When, when you <laughs> break them up like that, I've experienced all three yeah. stages at different times in my life. Yeah. I can retrospectively go back and go, yeah, yeah, I've definitely been in those seasons. And it can hit us unexpectedly because we don't recognise that we are in that state of alert. Mm -hmm. And if you stop and take a look at everything maybe that you've been dealing with or going through over the last few months, say... Um, and, and you've hit that burnout stage or illness stage and you go, oh, there's actually been a lot to cause stress mm. and I just have been in survival mode and not realising it. So It's almost like you cope until you're not coping anymore. Yes, yes, exactly. It's that whole adapting. Mm. <laughs> we think we're adapting, but we haven't got rid of the stress, so yeah. boom, 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 we can't last in that stage yeah, for very long. Kind of we get exhausted. Yeah, away yeah. off to one side, but it's still having an impact. Physically, you, yeah. yeah. So at some point, boom, like we can't keep doing that. So no, yeah, yes, experience. That. Um, and this next image will show why as well, like the ways that stress can impact us. So we've got increased risk of chronic illnesses. Um, so things like high blood pressure and heart disease and things like that. Um, we've got sleep problems. So when we stop sleeping and we, you know, it's interact um, interrupting our sleep, which then can actually make us more stressed. Um, pain, so it increases inflammation, um, so that can also increase pain in your body. We get tired, we get anxious, our immune systems get lowered. If you've ever found yourself with a cold when you're stressed, yeah, right. <laughs> um, so it impacts us a lot, right? Yeah. <laughs> and I think we've all felt that as well. So, what we want to look at is some ways to sort of start noticing those signs and symptoms, symptoms of stress so we don't end up like this guy on the screen. Um, I think we've all been there though. <laughs> Don't come near me. <laughs> yes. Leave quietly and no one gets hurt. <laughs> um, so, yeah, it's really important to understand how stress impacts you and how to notice when you're stressed. Um, I know for me, Ben, one of the things I recognise is when I get really irritable. So, 
<laughs> I all get irritated at everything and anything. Okay. And it just increases and I'm, I'm quite sort of, um, just everything really frustrates me. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm just irritated at life in general. Yeah. Um, and that's one of the signs to me that something's out of order and maybe I'm experiencing stress. Um, sleep can be an issue for me as well. Um, or even, even um, gosh, the way that I react to stress to try and cope with it. So sometimes if it's unhealthy stress or I'm not dealing with it, uh, I might eat. <laughs> yeah. Let's be honest. Yeah. <laughs> so there, I do have little triggers and little symptoms and signs that I yeah. do become aware of. Sometimes not as soon as I would like to, that then I go, oh, yeah, I think I'm under some stress and I need to change something. Yeah. So like, what is it for you? Yeah, mine are similar. I definitely, you talk about eating, I look for sugar, yeah. definitely. If, yeah. if, I'm, if I'm consistently looking for sugar and even alcohol, even if it's not a lot of it, but if I'm yeah. consistently, like if, if, if like three nights in a row I'm like, oh, I still need a couple of drinks, that's a sign for me. Or yeah. uh, looking for fast food or sugar in general mm -hmm. consistently, it's like, wow. Yeah. I'm not just trying to get, deal with a little bit, but there's that consistent. Um, definitely when I overreact to the yes. people in my world, yeah. um, mm. that's a sign. And mm. sleep for me, if I just can't switch off. Yeah. I won't always be a present to what that tension is, but yeah. it's a sign that I can't actually let go of something. Like you said, that, that underwater, there's this, this yeah. and my mind just won't switch off. That's like, yeah. okay, there's something somewhere is creating yeah. that, that buzzing noise that just yeah. won't yeah. go away. And mm. look, I think that a lot of this stuff is really common to most of us. Some others might be, you know, might start finding it difficult to concentrate um, or you might be procrastinating things or sleeping in or sleep, you know, um, that kind of thing or not feeling motivated to do things. Um, mm -hmm. So it can be a number of different things for each person and there are some general signs as well. Um, but then we all have really unhealthy ways of dealing with it. And when I say we all have, we can have unhealthy. Yeah. There are unhealthy and healthy sure ways we've to all deal with stress. we've experienced unhealthy <laughs> yeah. ways at times, yeah. whether it's now or in our yeah. past. And like some yeah. of the most popular ways of, of managing stress in, in which are not always healthy. Um, so watching TV and movies is up there. And that's not always a bad thing, yeah. but, you know, it, it doesn't deal Too with much the stress. a good thing though. Yeah, it yeah. doesn't deal with the problem. So um, eating is a common popular one, as we've yep. both experienced. Um, social media use might skyrocket and some okay. mindless scrolling. Um, video games, gambling, um, alcohol, smoking, drinking, drugs, that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. So... Um, those are many of the ways that people do turn to deal with stress. Um, working too much. Working too like much. Just, avoidance. Yeah. Yeah. hundred percent. So we've got a lot of ways of, we think we're dealing with it, but they're really quite in the end unhealthy ways of, mm. of dealing with stress. So that's kind of what we um, want to touch on in this series is how do we find healthier ways to manage our stress and how do we be proactive about that mm -hmm. so that when the stress comes like those storms are going to come that we're actually prepared like with a toolkit mm -hmm. <laughs> of things that can we can whip out and go yeah I know how to deal with this yeah. and I've been building up my resilience so that I am a bit more stable through yeah, these sick. things so we're going to touch on things like sleep on relaxation, um, nutrition, exercise, um, lifestyle as well, and mental strategies as well to deal with our stresses. So that is what is in store for this series on stress management. Sounds good.